In this video, we will prove the Kharashov's current law from Maxwell's equation. So, first of all, consider a volume bounded by a closed surface. That is a volume bounded by a closed surface. So, the magnetic flux will be directed in this way. Okay. Now, here we use the fourth Maxwell equation to derive the KCL. So, from the fourth Maxwell equation, the fourth Maxwell equation is actually the Ampere's law. So, that is the Ampere's law. Gives us that curl of H that's equal to J plus del D del T. Okay. Now, Taking divergence on both sides of this equation, we get divergence of curl H is equal to divergence of J plus divergence of del D del T. Okay. Now, by the vector identity, the divergence of curl is 0. So, that is 0. That's equal to divergence of J plus. We can write this term as del del T of divergence T okay and from this divergence of j that's equal to minus del del t of divergence of d now from the gauss theorem we can write that divergence of d is equal to rho that is the volume charge density so del del t of rho okay now we take volume integral on both sides of this equation. So take volume integral on both sides. That is divergence of J dV is equal to minus del rho del T dV. Okay. Now, using divergence theorem, we can write this divergence J dV is equal to surface integral of J dot ds. That is closed surface integral J dot ds. Okay. That's equal to this term. Okay. Now, we know that total charge q that's equal to volume integral rho into dv rho is the charge density and if you differentiate both sides with respect to time that is del q del t that's equal to del del t of integral rho dv that's equal to integral del rho del t into dv now we can write this term that is equal to del q del t in that place. So, surface integral closed j dot ds that is equal to minus del q del t. Okay. Now, the surface integral, the surface integral effectively becomes a sum of currents in all the conductors passing through the surface. So, we can write this integral j dot ds as sum over s i i is the current that's equal to minus del q del t okay now if you consider that the total charge q changes negligibly with time then you can say that del q del t is equal to zero so from this we get that sum over s i is equal to zero thus we get the Kharashov's current law that is sum over s i that's equal to zero 